We are learning the five things rich people do that the rest of us don't. Financial expert Mark Lampkin is here today to share those things with us. Good morning. Good, Good morning. to see you. Good all right, you're you. going to turn us all into millionaires doing this, right? You know, At least I, we can get ourselves on the road to that. That's right. You know, when I, right before I started in the financial planning business, I decided that or everybody wants to be rich. And I used to think it was like that big stock or that inheritance or big Somebody business. got lucky because they invested in Nike on the ground exactly or something right. like that. I had no idea that far majority of people that are rich do it a month at a time. And we're going to tell you how right now. Okay, first thing is to automate. And what does that mean? Bull Durham's one of my favorite movies. And Kevin, <laughs> Co Kevin Costner tells Nuke Lelouch, don't think, just throw. Well, don't think, just save. Okay. If you, have to, if you have to write that check, if you have to take that money out of your checking account, chances are you're not going to do it. You're not going to transfer it from checking to savings when it gets deposited in your checking account. Exactly right. So make right. it happen automatically. 401k, take that and automatically. When it comes out of your checking account, take that ACH or that automatic withdrawal and hit that mutual fund or that college plan and you'll be far more successful. All right, second you say, get educated. You know, we've talked before, Candace, about um, college educated people make about a million dollars more than high school educated folks. Mm. So I understand that, that's get educated. But what I'm talking about here is Wall Street Journal. Even if you brought, bought the Wall Street Journal and just read the, the front pages of each section for a year, you're going to start understanding this. Kiplinger's Magazine, uh, Money Magazine, put down the Us Magazine and People Magazine and actually read something worthwhile. I think a lot of folks are intimidated by that and they think, I'm not going to understand it if I buy it. But you say if you just read it over and, and over, you, you'll start right. to understand. And you may not that first month or two, but watching CNBC, this stuff starts to sink in and starts to make sense. You just got to put in the effort. Same kind of thing on the third one about being intimidated. You got to spend money to make money. And I think a lot of people think, I, I need to hold on to what I have or I might lose it. That's exactly right. And uh, we talk a lot about investing yourself. And I'm talking about, I'm not talking about businesses here. What wealthy people do, put it this way, the best golfers in the world have a swing coach. What I want you to do, the wealthy people, they hire people like me. I'm very good at what I do. I'm not free, but they invest that money. They hire CPAs, they, you know, tax loopholes, estate planners, lawyers for protection. Hire a team, it'll make you better. Money mentors. All right, next, maximize your contributions. You know, we hear this all the time, and you hear me talk a lot about, hey, that 10%, and women ought to say 15% because you're going to outlive us. That's right. But what I want you to do, if you want to be rich, if you want to be wealthy, you can't just do the minimum. You have to max those contributions out. And not only max it out, perfect example, I was talking to Stephen Van Treese about his new basketball contract. Mm -hmm. He's going to live overseas. Most expenses are paid for. I've got him set up to save 50% of his Ooh, income because wow. he can do it, because we're setting it up early. You got to go go beyond 10%. You got to max it out. And for the younger people, do it as early as you possibly Absolutely, can. I remember yes. my dad telling me my first paycheck, go ahead and put in that huge now. 401k contribution, you'll never miss it. That's exactly right. All right, live like you're poor. You know, Warren Buffett and his Honda Accord, right? Perfect example. I was talk, you know, Luke Hancock. I was talking to him out. He's out in the Vegas Summer League right now and I said, "Do you need anything or are you good?" He says, "Mark, I'm going to do exactly what you told me to do." live like a broke college student because huh. I don't want to be a statistic. And that's right, you know, Thomas Stanley, The Millionaire's Next Door. If you haven't read that book, read it. They talk about the average millionaire, less than $1,000 on a suit, less than $500 on their watches, drive a two-year-old car. So live, and that's not necessarily poor, but live well beyond, below your means. Mm -hmm. Most wealthy people don't have the BMWs and the big houses and the and Italian suits. Most of that's for flash. Most of it's not substance. Live like you're poor, you'll be wealthy. All right, some good advice yeah, that you. we can all do. Thank yeah, you, Mark. Thank you. I appreciate it.